Hello and welcome to the Social Talks. This is your host Radha, and today's news of focus will be Maldives versus Lakshadweep, a matter of national interest or just a mere publicity move. Whether the recent diplomatic row between Maldives and India has caused, has sparked an issue of global interest. Being a popular destination for celebrities and the public, the nation is now under the, under the threat of losing a larger portion of its tourism economy that comes from its neighboring nation, India. But why? Well, here is how it goes. The Maldives, being a small island nation, is an extremely popular destination for many who plan to go for beach vacations, beach weddings, or other events. Amongst many, one such country is India, whose people frequently travel to the island nation. In fact, in a report by News 18, it was highlighted that around 10.9% of contribution towards the Maldivian tourism economy comes from Indian tourists only. This states the fact that India as a nation has played a key role in maintaining positive relations with Maldives. And not just limited to that, India has also helped out Maldives in times of crisis or other developmental reasons. However, the recent Maldivian government does not seem to like this diplomatic relation that much. Instead, it has taken an anti it seems to have taken an anti-India stance against the former nation India. What's the major issue? According to a news report by Al Jazeera, it was stated that after swearing in as the Maldivian president, Mohammed Muizu assured the public that he would expunge the Indian minor military base from the island nation. Now, this move could be assumed as a first step of souring Indo Maldivian diplomatic ties. Then, a few days after, the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, posted pictures from its recent from his recent visit to Lakshadweep, many ministers, especially from the newly formed government, did not seem to like that move. In a series of tweets made by ministers Mariam Shona, Mulshah Sharif and Abdullah Mehzoon, there were comments and abuses such as puppet of Israel, permanent smell in the rooms and clowns hurled directly at the Prime Minister of India and the Indian citizens. Although the three ministers were suspended with immediate effect, the abusive tweets sparked a nationwide protest against Maldives around India. Hashtags like boycott Maldives and explore Indian islands became viral across the social media platforms. So this move made by Indians have shaken the Maldivian tourism industry. From cancellations of flights to hotel bookings, Indians have shown their strong support towards their own nation and their Prime Minister. A news report by BBC mentioned that there were many Maldivian locals who were highly concerned regarding the recent spat and were clearly against the diplomatic rift. Now, amidst all the derogatory remarks and comments and boycott calls from India, one might wonder, does the event give more attention to India's growth prospects and diplomatic ties with other nations? or is just a mere publicity stunt by Maldives. In the name of tourism, on one hand, the issue seems to be benefiting India in a political way as elections appear to be coming ahead. On the other hand, the diplomatic spat has paved the way for India to, more, to give more attention and focus more on its own Indian islands and help in the tourism development. Whereas Maldives, it, if could be assumed, if an assumption could have been made, they made this move to gain more attention on a global level. Well, just like two sides of a coin, there might be different perspectives or different angles from which you could look at this issue and analyze. Well, this was all for today. Thank you for listening and connecting with us. Do follow the social talks for more news updates. Thank you.